Medicines, believe it or not. Welcome to another episode of Medicines, Believe It or Not. Let us now share with you something that you may not believe. Fever of unknown origin is defined as a condition that satisfies the following criteria. 1. Fever greater than or equal to 38.3 degrees Celsius or greater than or equal to 101 degrees Fahrenheit on at least two occasions. 2. Illness duration of greater than or equal to three weeks. 3. No known immunocompromised state. 4. Diagnosis that remains uncertain after a thorough history taking, physical examination, and the following obligatory investigations. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate. C-reactive protein level. Platelet count. Leukocyte count and differential. Levels of hemoglobin, electrolytes, creatinine, total protein, alkaline phosphatase, alanine aminotransferase, aspartate aminotransferase, lactate dehydrogenase, creatine kinase, ferritin, antinuclear antibodies, and rheumatoid factor. Protein electrophoresis. Urinalysis. Three blood cultures. Urine culture. Chest x-ray. Abdominal ultrasonography, and Tuberculin skin test or interferon gamma release assay. Believe it or not, there also exists a condition closely related to fever of unknown origin and is called inflammation of unknown origin. Inflammation of unknown origin has the same definition as fever of unknown origin, except for the body temperature criterion. Inflammation of unknown origin is defined as the presence of elevated inflammatory parameters, CRP or ESR, on multiple occasions for a period of at least three weeks in an immunocompetent patient with normal body temperature, for which a final explanation is lacking despite history taking, physical examination, and the obligatory tests listed above. Also, it has been shown that the causes and workup for inflammation of unknown origin are the same as for fever of unknown origin. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next episode that you may not believe.